for your doing. Make sure you have a fantastic New Year's Eve. And make sure you're watching the live and kicking Millennium Special tomorrow morning. There's Britney Spears, there's S Club 7 and A1 as well. There's loads of guests there. And join us on Sunday for a very special CBBC day because you're going to CBBC Towers. Want to know more? You'll have to tune in then. Wow. But we're all off now, aren't we? We are. Happy New Year. Bye. Bye. <laughs> What is it now? Fred, remember this is Hugmanay. Our friends will be expecting a laugh, so get something funny. This should hit the spot. <laughs> and this one looked like a cracker. Your bum sutra windy. Music. We need music. Texas, live at Edinburgh Castle. What more could you want? Mm. Terrific. And how about Martin Bennett and Phil and Ali? And Fred, we need a classic. I think I have the very thing. Another masterpiece. Hold on, though. It says contains brand new material. What? And Fred. Aye? Nothing from the top shelf, OK? OK? OK. See you later. Good choice, sir. These are just in. You won't find them anywhere else, you know. With comedy, music, dance and live celebrations from all over the country, Hugmanay belongs to BBC Scotland. Starts 9.15 on BBC Two. Quality. <laughs> Beginning a remarkable journey through time to celebrate the millennium, this is BBC One Scotland at the start of the biggest live broadcast ever. 2000 Today is introduced by David Dimbleby. from Greenwich and welcome to BBC's One 2000 Today. Over the next 28 hours, as the Earth spins on its axis, we're going to be following the sun setting on the old millennium and rising on the new. And the clock here at Greenwich is already ticking away the final minutes and seconds to the new century. 14 hours, 44 minutes, 22, 21, 20 seconds and counting. And we're here at Greenwich because this is the universally acknowledged home of time. It's based on this line, an imaginary line, but actually you can see it on the pavement here, zero degrees longitude, where east meets west. In international law, the new year 2000 doesn't actually officially begin until it begins here, which doesn't, of course, mean other places don't celebrate it at their own midnights, far from it. In only three quarters of an hour from now, the tiny uninhabited Millennium Island at the east of Kiribati in the Pacific, over 8,000 miles away from here, is going to be the first to say goodbye 1999 and a few hours later to welcome the first sunrise of the year 2000. We're going to be there as BBC One joins 60 other countries, all celebrating the dawn of a new century. Our journey is going to take us from Beijing to Moscow, from Sydney to Los Angeles. We're going to be in India, in South America, in Africa, Australasia. We're going to be in Antarctica. And of course, here in these islands. We'll see Britons from the North Sea to the Atlantic Ocean as they take part in all the reunions, the parties, the celebrations, and the commemorations of the past hundred years. And as midnight approaches, we're going to be over there, down at the Millennium Dome. The Queen will be arriving there by river after lighting a Millennium Beacon. The Archbishop of Canterbury and the Prime Minister will be there too, as with 12,000 guests, if they all get their tickets in time, they join the countdown and the music and the partying that leads up to midnight. And as Big Ben strikes 12, a spectacular river of fire will streak up the Thames from Tower Bridge to Westminster, moving at nearly 700 miles an hour. The speed, the earth itself turns, and the time moves across the globe. And that's only the start of it. There's lots, lots more. And to hear about it, we join Michael Parkinson in the 2000 Today studio. Michael. David, thank you. Welcome to BBC Television Centre here in London for 2000 Today. This is the last programme on BBC One before the start of the year 2000. And when we go off the air tomorrow afternoon, we'll be halfway into the first day of the next 1,000 years. 2000 Today is the biggest and the most ambitious television programme ever made, a once-in-a-lifetime experience. There are celebrations going on all around the world, 
all at different times, and we are going to be there. Over 60 countries are taking part. We estimate that we'll have an audience worldwide of over 1 billion people. We'll be starting in the tiny, uninhabited South Pacific island of Kiribati, where it'll be midnight in just under an hour when it's 10 o'clock here. And we'll finish 28 hours later in Samoa. We'll be seeing the setting of the sun and it's rising across the world as 1999 becomes 2000. Quite simply, we'll witness the sun set on one millennium and rise on another right across this planet of ours. Now, in the studio with me, because I'm not doing all this by myself, of course, is Gabby Rosen. Gabby, good morning. Good morning. Big day. Big day, raring to go. And for you too, because you're going to do the, the silly thing and stay in the studio for the entire 30 hours. Yes, um, I, I've got a rolled up little uh, sleeping bag under here that nobody can see. What are you going to do, catnap? <laughs> under the table. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Peter Sissons is with us too, of course. A big day ahead, Peter. Oh, the biggest uh, global party you or I will ever see or report on. Huge potential for unpredictable events. Much of it is predictable as the sun sweeps, uh, sun shadow sweeps across the earth. But unpredictability at this time of the year is par for the course. Big news events usually happen. Indeed, we've got the first of them already. We're getting reports from Moscow that Boris Yeltsin, the president, has resigned. The president of Russia has resigned and handed power to Vladimir Putin. So BBC News will be bringing you regular updates on all this and more during the day from the Millennium News Desk here in the studio. And I'll be doing the first shift. And, of course, the big running story, I suppose, apart from the uh, President Yeltsin's story, of course, will be the Millennium Bug. There's much speculation about that. It's been hyped for so long, we'll find out whether it's going to be a, a non-event or really has the potential to inflict catastrophe. Peter, thank you. Well, to put it all in the scientific and historical co context, we've got the team from Tomorrow's World. <laughs> Fewer than three minutes to go before the start of the new millennium. In all parts of these islands, people are waiting in their own ways. Here, outside Cardiff City Hall, outside Belfast City There's Hall. There's a very brave man there. Here he is. We've got two minutes, apparently. On the quayside at Newcastle. and in Birmingham Centenary Square. And in Glasgow. Everybody waiting now. Twenty-three fifty-eight, And Edinburgh. Everybody counting the minutes. Ordinary minutes that are passing just like any other minutes, but leading to an extraordinary moment. We're watching as the last year of the last century of the old millennium slouches off stage to make way for the youthful entry of the new.
Well, it is now 2000 today, and to mark the birth of the new century, the river of fire on the Thames, fireworks all over the country. This great stream of high moving fire going at the speed the earth turns, difficult to distinguish there, I must admit, from the fireworks, turning in theory at any rate at the very speed of time. This is BBC One, a happy new year. What you're seeing now here at, uh, on the Thames is one million pounds worth of fireworks. 29,000 tonnes of fireworks, the biggest display. But I have to say, as you've no doubt spotted, there didn't appear to be much of that river of fire. I don't quite know what happened to it. No doubt we shall discover in time. But anyway, this is a spectacular sight. London Eye there with the searchlights going over it. Fireworks running right the way up the river from Tower Bridge to Westminster. And the beacon still burning that the Queen lit earlier. Happy New Year! Happy New Year to you at home. Let's go to Edinburgh, see what's happening there. To Edinburgh. What's so amazing is that they're celebrating in Israel, and of course it's over over 5,000 years. That's right. In Israel, but they're still coming together for the year 2000. I like the dynamism as well, Gabby. It's the dynamism of the dancing which is good. Oh, wow. Well. <coughs> oh, it might be. A bit of sunshine would be nice. Oh, it would. <laughs> It'd be rather nice. That was lovely. Your moment. Oh, well, it's not over yet. We've still no. got a way to what go. What was your but, biggest moment so far? Um, Mandela lighting the candle yeah, and Paris and New York, lovely. those three. I think Mandela, it must be. Oh. And I thought uh, the Eiffel Tower was... Incredible. It was. I'm just the use of the fireworks and the structure. Did you see New York as well? I did. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, not sticking that away from New York either. No, no, well. it was marvellous. Well, we've been going now on air for uh, 24 hours, and we have got a few Ooh, more hours Bobby! left. Bobby! Oh, you must yes. be joking. Yeah! Oh no, Hugh, protect me. Oh. Do you know that stuff Peter Sissons actually, you know that, don't you? Stop that, Hugh. <laughs> Hi, Blobby. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Blobby. Oh. No. oh, thank you. Is that for me? Now, listen, we're on for four hours, I think. Oh, sorry. Oh, well, we are, Live yeah. Live and kicking. Have a look. Live and kicking. All right, Blobby. Go on, go on. <laughs> Good morning. 
Hello. Welcome, mate. Seems like I haven't spoken to you, Mitch, since the last millennium. How are you? Wow, time flies, doesn't it? I'm fine. Tell us, Mitch, how we're going to celebrate this morning on BBC One. We're going to party like it's 1999. Oh, no, that's from the past, isn't it? Hello, then. Uh, celebrate. Welcome to a new millennium and, of course, the noughties. Uh, what you need today is an S-Club party. They'll sing two in a million in a minute. Gucci mama. Uh, we have Mark Spay, that man of many faces, gets all creative with smart art. And then hopefully today we're going to have a live chat with uh, Antarctic explorer Catherine Hartley as she strolls to the South Pole. EastEnders Janine and Sonia uh, let one of you lot become an EastEnders Extra. And then at 10 o'clock this morning, Electric Circus brings you some very special Millennium messages. All right, Mel? Uh, A1 here as well. They'll be revealing their Millennium song created with another one of you light and kicking viewer types. And also, uh, Britney Spears has a brand new song, Born to Make You Happy, which you'll uh, be making us happy later. And then hit us or maybe as you've never seen him before. We've got live links to Tim Vincent, who's in Cardiff, Sally Gray in Edinburgh, Sean Lowry in Carrick Fergus, and Matt Baker in Newcastle. So that's all bound to go wrong then. <laughs> if you'd like to join in, here's the number. Oh, wait for They shouldn't really be here, no, you know, but we don't mind. Oh, but Jay, we're glad you were. Their house, our house is their house, as we say on, on Live and Kicking. Morning, all. Happy wow. Happy New Year! Happy, Happy New, New Year, year everyone. Oh, Happy well, New Year. I had a great year. night last night, um, or, or still having a great night, as I'm sure many of you are out there. Yes, you Get yes. to bed. Absolutely. <laughs> Listen, we've got to say thanks to all of our uh, 2000 Today colleagues, because, I mean, did any of you see what they were doing all yeah. throughout the night? It was amazing. It was. The last 23 hours, the most ambitious television ever, and they did so well. Gabby Roslin, like, up all night. I know, but she still looked fantastic this morning. <laughs> yes, absolutely. She did. Now listen, um, we got loads and loads of letters in for the millennium, but.